Blessings and greetings, my angels. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. I hope you had a beautiful evening. You spent it with family or friends or however you spent it. It's a new day. It's a new year. Let's welcome the new energies into this new year. And let's embrace what our journey has for each of us individually and collectively. We're now going to tap into our weekly general reading, followed by our weekly love reading. And I will also... Throughout the course of this week, post your 2024 January readings, general readings for the channel, as far as finances, love, crystals, and all the other readings that I usually do. I will be trying to introduce some new ones as well. And again, I welcome your feedback. Share, like, and comment more than you ever have before this year. I really would like to see an increase in those numbers as well as those of you who've been sitting on the fence. I know half of you guys are not subscribers, but you watch the content. I hope this is the year that you'll cross over and become a subscriber. Cause of blessing, faithful. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We, we welcome you and the angels, their light, energy, and the saints, and all the ancestors that govern and protect us, especially as we are now embarking on a new year. For many of us, we're changing the course of our destiny. We're crossing over into new pastures. We're experiencing new things, learning how to let go. Others, are, others of us are continuing, unfortunately, to kind of struggle through life and get through the things that are holding us back. So we really do pray as we cleanse the space that positively in light and that we're motivated and that we seek the proper guidance and hear the messages that you try to give to us in this life in whatever form it is sent to us. My cards are always blessed and prayed for. I do time stamp my video so you can go right to the stamp that says reading starts here if you want to bypass the intros. What is the general message? The first message for Sagittarius for this first week of the new year. And again, it is a new year and also a new month, so you will see a rotation of some of the cards in my deck. For those of you joining me for the first time, I do rotate my decks every month. Okay. We will be doing a past, present, and future reading for 2024 also during this week. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck well, some of you are a little upset or still losing sleep over situations carried over from the last year. Just because it's a new year doesn't mean that everything starts off sunny and bright, unfortunately, right? Um, some of us still have unfinished business, uh, matters that we still have to deal with or find some type of closure or healing from, from the old year. But the good thing about it, it is a nine of swords, so that means we are somewhere near completion of getting past this difficult time the sleepless nights and feeling like you're being tormented and you don't know what to do or where to go that energy is going to slowly leave you we have the six of cups the two of swords and the hermit kind of piggybacking it and um kind of circling around the energy of the nine of swords so there is nostalgia a lot of people from your past if not a few might be coming back many could be romantic others could be just family friends or old ex co-workers or neighbors people that you've crossed you know your path with could be coming back to say hello or you could just be running into them or they could be coming back with the intention to comfort you during a time of difficulty uh, or loss or they could be coming to ask for forgiveness for some hurt they might have caused you in the past for many of you you will be blocking yourself from a lot of people's energies even those who might be coming to you you know trying to restore the goodness with your friendship or to make you think of happier times and be more melancholy a lot of you are still going to be guarded and held off because you're still dealing with a lot and you barely want to deal with what you, you have under your plate. So you really don't want to take on the energy of anything else. And you're kind of blinding yourself to see anything else because you're really on overload. Um, so that's good in one sense because you're protecting and you're setting boundaries so that you don't take on more than you can handle. But on the other kind of flip side of it, if you don't take the blinders off and if you don't open up your third eye chakra and really see 
you know, what's behind certain situations or what's coming towards you, you won't be prepared to handle it and to move forward. Many of you are taking this time as the new year continues because you do have this residual energy from last year and things that still aren't kind of where you want them to be in your life, where you're going to take time to reflect. You're going to take time to yourself. One of the promises you might have made to yourself is to be, to spend more time by yourself and to really tap into your intuition and to isolate yourself from the toxicities or the negative things that might impact your life or impact the decisions that you make regarding your life. You know, so the new year is always a time for retrospect and introspection. And if people are coming into your life, kind of taking you down memory lane, many of you might not be ready for it, or it can also help you by going down memory lane to remind you of brighter days, to remind you of past times of difficulties and how you were able to get through them. This particular hermit here is looking at a tablet. Um, so for some of you, you could be, some of you might be writers or you're, 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 you need time to be by yourself because you're in some form of education. You're, ed you're educating yourself for a career, a job, or you're taking some type of test. But many of you will take time away from play and just being out there enjoying life because you need to get down to business this year. And for many of you, that means, <clears throat> excuse me, going back to school, taking exams. Um, ch if you're changing careers, you might be taking a look here to see if you've gotten, um, excuse me, the instance, <coughs> if you've gotten replies to any interviews, <coughs> I so apologize. <coughs> okay. Let me just take a drink of water. I'm sorry. It's when I burn the incense sometimes it just doesn't... <laughs> Okay, we're good now. So, yeah, I see many of you, you know, some of you could actually be going away or you're, you're kind of like when you come home from work, you know, you might hang out with your kids, your grandkids, but then you seclude yourself into your office or your man cave and you're checking up on messages, you're checking up on interviews or you're creating or recreating your resume, you're networking with people. You also could be connecting with someone who's trying to make amends in your life or trying to cheer you up and, and make you go down memory lane. So there's many reasons why many of you are going to be tapped into your laptop or your, your desktop computers because it will be a source of helping you navigate through some things that you want to do or some things that you've promised yourself to do. This could be many of you too taking time to make out some type of itinerary for travel that you want to plan this year, working on your budget if you want to make big purchases or if you're planning to pay off a lot of debt this year because you want to be more in control of your finances. So yes, you might start the new year with continued stress in the old year, but you will be working it out and you're going to make sure that you set yourself the time and you put the energy and the focus into it. And that's really going to make the difference on how well you um, get out of certain situations and how quick you are able to manifest the things that you, you plan for your life for this year. As we clarify the Six of Cups, <clears throat> this could be a male person, someone who has stood by you in the past or someone that you kind of respect and look up to. This could be someone that offers you stability or reminds you of the leadership qualities that they have you to have them so you look at this person as someone that they can guide you and give you a good source of information um and you need that sometimes in life is it, when people come back to us from the past it's not always to right or wrong it could be because they generally care for us and they might have heard that you're not doing well or you're struggling or maybe you're doing great and they feel they can help you in a venture or something that you're seeking to do clarifying <clears throat> The two of swords. Yeah, what did I say about, you know, taking the blinders off with the death card? Yes. Many of you have to stop pretending and trying to run away or to put those blinders on that you don't see what's going on. Just because you want to hide something doesn't make it go away. Just because you don't want to believe someone is the way how they are or a situation isn't what it is. 
putting the blinders on is not going to make the situation appear any different or just magically change. Things are what they are. So you really have to put an end to, again, wanting to change certain situations when they can't be changed. And definitely this year, stop trying to change people because you can't. So I think a great ending to a lot of the things that you thought you could do or that you wanted to do or that you wanted to hide yourself from, you realize you can't. You have to deal with life and the flow of life in real time. Clarifying the Hermit, we get the World card. For many of you, <clears throat> again, you're taking this time in this new year as you transition from old ways and old thoughts and you're trying to manifest and grow into your new self that better version the person that wants a complete task the person that wants to travel experience life be that light worker be that healer you're going to see yourself traveling you're going to see yourself interacting with the four elements and you're going to be very much involved in the things in your day-to-day -day life as you go along your journey and what happens in the world is going to impact you and you're going to feel the spiritual need to want to do something about it. Clarifying the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck, we get the lover's card. For many of you, <clears throat> the heartache and the disappointment is c in connection to love, not so much about your career or family. <clears throat> you were hurt by someone where you thought everything was fine with the relationship and everything was going to get better, but it didn't. But again, you know, with the tens and the nines, it's okay. This is something that happened in the past. You, you have the residual pain that you're dealing with, but as you get into the spring months, you're going to be in a better mindset. This energy will be behind you as long as you let it be behind you and leave it in the past and you work on the healing and focus on the true things that matter at hand. The Empress, like I said, you're going to get over it because many of you have too much to do. The Empress energy, you want to birth the new ideas and see them come to fruition. Some of you might even be pregnant or thinking about being pregnant or you have children that you have to take care of and you really have to be focused and you really can't allow yourself to fall into a depression over a relationship that has not worked or someone that has left your life. You have too much on your plate to begin and to start, and also people who rely on you to help them bring their dreams to fruition. In the middle of the deck with the Ace of Pentacles, you, you know, it's going to be challenging for some of you, especially if the breakup in your relationship kind of cost you money financially, if you had to pay for a separation or a divorce, or if you had to pay money to move or to relocate, or this person cost you money in other ways because they caused damage or, you know, they took money from you or stole from you. So you're slowly going to be working back to get all of that financial prosperity back. But again, being focused and on point with everything and not keeping the blinders on, you're going to be fine. Taking it one step at a time, praying over the situation and giving what you can to God and, and the rest you just leave for the universe to assist you. When it comes to... <clears throat> Your finances, you're starting out this week working on budgets, as many of you should. Some of you who are very lucky enough to have gotten a bonus, or maybe you get a bonus between now and February, working out what debt you want to pay off or what major expense you might think about getting into, such as a house, a car, or, or starting a business. That's followed by responsibilities. Taking your responsibilities very seriously, um, especially when you're, you know, rebounding or building yourself back up and getting your self-esteem up from a tragic, you know, devastating loss as far as a relationship. Now you're not going to focus so much about love. You're focused about your responsibilities for yourself, for your family, and it's going to put you in a different mindset. And that alone is going to take away your attention from dwelling and thinking about what happened to you in romance in the past, because you're going to have too much more important things of value to, um, to really help you and to motivate you to grow, to feel sorry for yourself or to, you know, have a pity party about a failed relationship. With the card of pay bills, like I said, you're focused, you're taking your responsibilities seriously. That's one of the things that you wanted to do this year and complete is to continue to pay your bills on time, not to have any debt, keep your bills to a minimum, and really start and have a firm budget. 
if you like, you could try to do the envelope saving system. I, I had that mentioned here on my channel, and there's a lot of content creators that have content on their, this here. It's a real great, great saving mechanism. It does work, but you have to be dedicated to it and disciplined. The final card we get is internship. Some of you, as you change careers or you're looking into maybe an additional job or skill set, there might be the opportunity for you to have internships um, in a particular field. Even within your own job, you might find yourself helping out in a different department and you might not get paid for that particular work. But the knowledge you gain with doing this additional work is going to help you to navigate into the field that you're trying to get into as far as your growth because many of you what what you make now for the job that you're in is just not enough it's expensive to live in this world and it's getting more and more costly so many people have to find additional ways of income whether you're going to be an entrepreneur you're going to work a second or third job or you know you're going to work one job remote and the other one physically but it takes a lot to really survive to survive in this world so that's why Budgeting, paying your bills on time, learning whatever you can, and really staying on top of just your life in general and not focusing, focusing so much on your love life is so important in these days and times. As we come to a closing, we get the star card, the energy of 17, which is 8. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. What did I say? Thank you, my angels, for confirming. Yes, continue to have hope. Lift yourself up. Do the work and the healing that you need to do. Let yesterday's problems be yesterday's problems. Yes, some are going to still be lingering over into the first couple of weeks of the new year. But I'm telling you, by springtime, you're going to be like, I wasn't even thinking about that situation. And don't even remember it because you're going to be in a better mindset. And you're going to be focusing about other things. A dream will come true. You got to continue to believe in yourself. And it will show and resemble the fact that you're beyond it because all this other pain and suffering and loss, you're coming to the end of it. We also get the four of Ariel. When you give, you also receive being resistant to change, extremes, and how you save or spend money. How you handle your money, where you lay your money or how you achieve to get your money plays a role too in how your life will progress and how you're able to manifest. With the Emperor card, another energy of four showing stability, stability and efficiency, taking charge of situation, ambitious plans. Those ambitions and goals, you know, that you want, that Emperor energy, the Emperor's one of might, of power, of diligence, wisdom, leadership, all of that, you need to continue to budget. You need to establish firm spending policies and, and firm plans that you are actually going to follow and commit to this year so that you can come out on top, so that you can manifest and create the lifestyle that you want. And more importantly, the stability that your foundation is firm. So that even when we go through life's problems, as we will in the ups and downs, you're still somewhat in a great place. The final card from this deck is 13, another energy of four showing the stability in your life is peace from Archangel Azrael. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Can't say I can't say it enough. The cards have said it repeatedly. You can even rewind and replay this video and you will see how the messages and cards are coming together with a strong energy of four, strong force showing in this first general reading for this first week of the new year that you are going to be on stable ground, firm foundation. You're in the mode to build, to lead, to conquer, to soar, right? You're going to be shooting your arrow at the, the things that you want to achieve in this life with your eyes wide open, not thinking about the past and just thinking about the present and enjoying life and being in life and being in the moment and just working hard you know, whether it's getting more education or working more hours to to be able to afford the type of lifestyle and comfort that you want for you and your family. Um, let's see what card we'll pick in closing. Oh, let's go right here. The 
You also get the message of twists and turns. Carefully made plans could be thrown out of the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with all the upheaval. Didn't I say that, yes, even as you rebuild or as you move forward and certain stresses of the past leave you, it doesn't mean that you're not going to run into new problems or new situ you know, situations in life that's going to give you a headache. That's just part of life. We're always going in the flow of it and in the flow of life. Real things happen in real time, but you have to be able to conquer it and move through it. You can't put the blinders on and say, oh, I don't want to deal with it. I don't see it. Therefore, it doesn't exist because you're just delaying the inevitable. In closing, we end with the energy of the hanged man. You may not be in content or you may not be content with your current circumstances and you may feel even confined to a particular predicament or mental state that does it bring you joy at this moment? However, continue to have confidence that you can free yourself from the situation by regaining control of your future by employing the strength within. So yes, another confirmation. Even though many of you have stability in your life, there are still going to be moments, even as you rebuild and continue to grow in your life, there will be challenges that will come through this path of this year too, as it did last year. And it will always do in our lifetime. But you have to be able to, even when you take the pause as the hangman and put things in suspension and put things to the side as you regroup and heal, have to be able to find the strength within. Tap into your intuitiveness. Take the lessons from your past to strive to move forward and to get past, you know, the bumps, <laughs> you know, along our road and journey. But you've got this. It's going to be a great new year. Keep thinking positively. Live a positive life with foresight. Be good to yourself and be great to others. And you will see how this will all come full circle. God bless you. Enjoy the first week of this new year. May you continue your, your life and your journey with all the love that the God and the angels can provide. Namaste.